hello guys welcome to the channel so queen naja made a comment a couple of years ago that made her seem like a colorist when she was with her ex-husband chris sells she did a video two years ago explaining the situation explaining why she said what she said but it seems like this colorist comment that she made just keeps coming up over and over again if you guys don't know the comment that queen naja made here's the comment right here nappy headed i'm sorry y'all but it seemed like always little nappy headed girls would bully me like they'd be jealous or something like what, I, what? yes Such things, ugly people? Well, it don't have nothing to do with, look, y'all, before y'all start going in, it don't have nothing to do with color, but them are always the people that bully me. It was always some little black little girls bullying me with some old little uh, terrible hair. Based on what Queen said, you would think that she is a colorist. I understand what she was trying to say, but what she was saying was kind of rude. And the way she was saying it was just like, I could see why people keep bringing up like this situation, even though it's old, new people see it, so they bring it out. Even though she explained what happened. Like I said, I get what she was talking about, but the way she worded it was completely wrong. She should have worded it a different Girl, way. Girl, you better bring me my lunch. Is why. <laughs> right. She would have worded it different. Instead of saying, oh, it always seemed like ugly people was bothering me. Or dark skinned girls. Girl, you better. Hair was bothering me. Of course, people is going to feel some type of way about it. Anyway, Queen Nigel went live and decided to explain herself again. And here's what she had to say. So before I play the clip, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you guys can get notified every time I post a video. Also, make sure you like and comment. And thanks for watching. Instagram, um, basically just like a, dis a, dis uh, a disclaimer about, um, it's over there, CJ. Yeah, but there's a charger right there. I made a disclaimer basically uh, uh, just telling people that my name is Queen Aja and it's not my stage name because a lot of people, even people like in the industry, you know, they'll be like, hey, Naja, like, hey, you know, and I know they don't mean anything by it. They probably just really think it's my stage name, but it's really my name, you know, um, it's on my birth certificate. And so I guess I'm just, I, I was just saying that because I would like to be called by my name. Um, she high. No, I'm not high. <laughs> If my eyes look low, I'm, I don't know why I have on lashes. Sometimes when I have on extensions, my eyes look like smaller. So I'm not, I'm definitely not high, especially around my kids. And I don't get high. So watch, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. All right. We almost at 10K on here. <laughs> All right, we at 10K. What's up? What's up, 10K people? Let's tune in. Tap in real quick. So, um, okay. I'm trying to think because this is like on live. And like if, if I made a video, I could go and edit what I would say. But I have to make sure I watch what I say. Because a lot of people take and twist my words all the time and misconstrue what I say. And I'm just a, overall, I'm just really like, I feel like I'm a really misunderstood person. And so, yeah, let me watch what I say. So if I mess up on what I'm saying, then I apologize to you guys. But, you know, I'm a I'm much of a better writer than I am a speaker. And that's always been my issue since I've been like a little girl. Like, it's always been hard for me to really just talk and say what I like, say what I mean and explain it in the best way. Because I'm always trying to find the best way to say it. But, yeah, I can write things much better. So basically, I've been going back and forth about um, a, like uh, something that's been like really bothering me, but I don't say too much about it because I feel like you know I have such a big platform. Um, if I bring attention to it, then it could get bigger. I have a lot of people that tell me, "Queen, just don't speak on it um, because you're, you're gonna like make it bigger, and then you know it's gonna bring more attention." And at this point, I kind of really don't care if it. CJ, what you doing? I don't care if it brings more attention as long as it brings me closure to myself. Check running across the screen. So, um, I hope y'all can hear me well because let me shut the trends down. My bad, y'all. So, um, 
First of all, where can I start? I just want you guys to, to know um, my, my background highly. I want y'all to know my background. First, I'm gonna just tell you guys the situation, all right? So if you guys are um, true supporters of me, then y'all already know the situation. But if you're not and you are and you don't know anything about it, well, now you about to know. So a lot of times when I get posted like on blog sites or whatever, um, it's just always a lot of uh, comments saying things about me being a colorist and you know how I don't how I bash you know uh, black women or women of darker skin tone and that's because um, three years ago you guys three years ago when I was doing YouTube I was strictly a youtuber and I was doing a video with um, I was just doing a video with someone and um, I was basically t speaking on speaking on a situ like speaking on an, ex an experience where I was bullied when I was a little girl and I was I was actually bullied like maybe through elementary through middle school after high school it really kind of like stopped but as a as a young girl I was always like really timid and just really nice to people and I and I always got um bullied so I was speaking on a certain situation where I was bullied by a certain group of girls and um, I used to get my hair pulled all the time and I used to get pushed off the swings, off the slides and just so many things. Like I would never like people would try to fight me all the time. And I made it when I made the video, I was speaking on girls of my own race. When I say my own race, I mean black. I never described the skin color like as brown skin, dark skin, light skin. I just said black girls. I said it was always black girls who bullied me. And I and I said it was always black girls like with nappy hair that bullied me like they was jealous or something. That's what I said in my video three years ago. Um, so when I got fast forward, when I got signed to a record label, um, you know, people always try to bring up dirt and stuff. So people pulled that up about me and was like, hey, Capital, y'all find a girl who's a colorist or a racist or whatever. And I was just like, um, I was just taken aback because I didn't understand how I said something wrong because I grew up in a household where like a black household where nappy headed or like the term nappy was used in such a normal way like it was just normal to me so i didn't see why i said anything wrong back then so in 2018 i made a video on my youtube channel i don't know if y'all remember but i had like a blonde wig on but i was explaining myself and i was i'm basically trying to justify what i said back then because i didn't understand how it was wrong but then as time went on you know i kind of looked back at the videos and i was like Damn, I really did sound ignorant back then. Like, I did sound ignorant, and I could see where a lot of people would take that part of that video and, um, and you know, feel like I'm, I'm that, or I'm a colorist, or, like, I have something against, against black women. But, um, so then I, this year, I, I took it upon myself to do a and a and then at the end, I apologized um, to anybody who I offended. And that video didn't get a lot of views, so really the the only video that goes viral or that you know that resurfaces is the one where i did say that and i've addressed it plenty of times um on twitter on on my youtube channel and people don't like recognize that they only recognize the video that keeps coming up and it's probably people that some people i feel like they just want to say things but then some people are probably really like taken aback and they're supporters of me and they kind of just don't understand where that came from. But people took my statement and generalized it for all black women. And that's not that's not what I meant, y'all. I have never been um, a colorist. I have never felt like I was better because I was light-skinned. Hell, I was trying to get a tan yesterday, okay? Because listen, I, I feel like melanin is beautiful. I never... I never thought that I was better. Now, the words that I have used in the past, they were probably ignorant. Well, they were ignorant. They weren't probably, but they were ignorant. But back then, I didn't know they was ignorant because that's what I was just used to. I was just, I wasn't that educated on, like, my culture. And I wasn't really deeply, you know, rooted into it. So I just, I didn't feel like I offended anyone back then. But now I see that I did offend, like, a multitude of black women. And I and I truly apologize again to anyone who I who I have offended by using that term, um, and that's that. Like I just I I I apologize 
a lot of times for it and you know a lot of people keep bringing it up and i'm not gonna say like that really does bother me y'all like because there's not a colorist bone in my body at all like i have i i've witnessed i've been bullied by when i was younger i've been bullied by girls of my own race that were darker than me but i've also seen girls i've also seen girls um get bullied on the other end of the spectrum because they are darker tone and i've had friends that's been bullied because they were dark too so i do understand you know that's well that's not something i'll i've never understand it because i didn't experience but i have seen it so i would never be the one to bash women about their skin tone or skin color but i don't know if you guys if you guys uh seen it if y'all seen the um the video going around and you like you're new to it i just want to make a disclaimer that's not me that's not what i am i'm not a colorist um i love all black women i'll do what i can from this point on to continue to support black women and all of us i just feel like all shades are beautiful and we should come together and you know just stick together that's it that's that's really it i love all of y'all i feel like black is beautiful we're beautiful and to those who i offended once again i apologize but um what cj Okay, that's because you put the soap in his hands. I can't put the soap in his hands every time. Yeah, but that's all I ever see. That's all I ever see, you guys. Anytime, anything. And it's just like, man. That 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 really, like, it's not a good feeling, y'all. It's not a good feeling. Um, can we post on the royal family today? We're not posting today, you guys, but we'll probably post soon. So I hope you guys understand what I what I mean or what I meant. I don't I never meant any harm to nobody. But um that's gonna be that. You know, I'm I've grown. I've grown now, so I know what to say and what not to say. Thank you. Congrats on one million one day. But, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I just want to come on here and say that. I'm sorry, y'all. I love you all. For real, for real. Um, and my, my true supporters, thank y'all for understanding me. Because I'm a really misunderstood person. I just want to let y'all know that my heart is really, really, really like not nowhere near that what people are claiming me to be. Okay, I'm done talking about it. I'm done. I'm done.